You have questions, we have answers. Back with another quick clip. My name is Brian Leitner, and today we have Andy Garrison, a Senior Wealth Advisor from Overland Park, Kansas. Andy, how are you, how are you today? Hey, doing good, Brian, how about you? I'm great, thanks for being here. Uh, Andy, we had a question come into the show recently, and the question was, I've lost money recently due to market volatility and so forth. Uh, is there something I should have done differently? Should I have planned differently? And I, I, being that you know Monday morning quarterback, if you will, uh, what should I be thinking about as I construct portfolios and things of that nature? Yeah, I think it's a great question. And, and it's something we've certainly seen with new clients coming in, wondering, what should I do now? Should I have done something different before? What do I need to do different going forward? And for us, it always starts with going back to the plan, right? Not just the investment plan, but the life plan we're trying to create for clients, because obviously money is a big part of a lot of our lives, and especially when we're talking about investments, but it's also just a tool to fulfill the things we're trying to accomplish throughout life whether that's certain goals or caring for family members or creating freedom at some point. So it all really dials back to what we're doing in that front. And if there's adjustments that need to be made, we believe they need to be made based on the plan that we've already created ahead of time going into any market volatility or market environment more so than X, Y, or Z just happened and therefore we need to do A, B, or C because of it. And I think that's a challenge with a lot of folks, right? They, they act with their gut. They see all this news that's out there in the media and how either terrific things are or how horrific things are. And that leads them to make maybe just one-off decisions as it relates to their portfolio, which ultimately impacts their plan, right? Yeah, it definitely does. It definitely does. I mean, I think we're, we're human, right? At the end of the day, in the beginning of the day too, but we're, we're definitely human. And when we think about what's going on, we start having these feelings inside and we see the news and we're feeling fearful about things. That's not always the best time to make a decision. The best time to make a decision is in the weeks, the months, the days, the years before that. And to have a plan so that you're making it well thought out from a, a thoughtful perspective as opposed to kind of a gut reaction. And I'm a big believer, and I think all of us at Mariner are, that those with a plan will always do better than those without a plan. And that's true in any area in life, not just your financial life. So whenever we, we build a financial plan for folks, we're recognizing these ups and downs are gonna happen, right? And they're gonna happen more frequently, and they're always gonna be, a, not, the fact they happen isn't a surprise, but what causes them is almost always a surprise and it feels different each time. But what we've found is that if we put together a good plan for someone and we're understanding what the money and what the investments are set to do over their lifetime, what time frames are certain dollars needed, and then build a plan and build a portfolio to account for that so that everything goes back to support that in the long term. Andy, that's great advice. Obviously having a plan is critical, having a process. And what I would also add is sometimes you know, not doing anything is still a decision that you're making for whatever the, the plan might call for. So great advice, uh, really appreciate it. Um, that was a question that came in from our website. And if you have questions, it's uh, qa at marinerwealthadvisors.com. Thanks for watching.